receives this question. If we can be baptized unaware of God's grace being bestowed on us as infants, why can we not be baptized as adults before our CIA, essentially unaware as an infant is, as we begin our faith journey? This is an interesting question. I feel this questioner is making some assumptions about baptism and the age of consent, which I should address. Let me say first that the model for baptism is the baptism of adults. In the very early church, those who were baptized were adults. There is no mention in Acts of the Apostles or other New Testament writings about the baptism of infants. The profession of faith is always essential for the reception of this sacrament and all others as well. It is normally assumed that those being baptized are aware of the profession they are making and that they are committing themselves to live their lives in the light of the teaching and moral commands of Jesus Christ. The practice of infant baptism was a later development in the church. Once faithful and committed Christians began to marry one another, have children, and commit themselves to a life in Christ, they wanted to share the blessings of salvation with their children. This is a natural instinct of all parents, to want to give the greatest of what is theirs to their children. As Christian families were being formed, these parents naturally wanted to pass on the faith to their offspring and to raise these children to celebrate and cherish the life of grace found in the sacraments of the church. Now there still needed to be a profession of faith. Since the infant is unaware, to use the word chosen by my questioner, the church looked for someone who is aware to profess the faith. Very naturally it fell to the parents and sponsors, or godparents, to profess their faith, since it is in that faith that the child was to be baptized. So while the infant is unaware, the parents and godparents are aware. Their faith and the faith of others present at the baptism supplies for what is needed to celebrate this sacrament. Therefore, within infant baptism is also a commitment by the parents that they will raise their child in the faith and impart this awareness in them. But as soon as the child can speak for him or herself, they are to stand up and do so, as we expect of those who are fully aware. Bear in mind that in church law, the age of majority is 18 years, the age of minority is up to 18, and the age of reason is seven. So once a child is seven years old, if there are no extenuating circumstances, that child is expected to be prepared for baptism, not like an infant, but like an adult, to the extent that this is possible. So at seven years of age and beyond, such children are to be prepared themselves to receive the sacraments alongside the adults who are preparing to be baptized at the Easter Vigil. These children are to be prepared by a year-long catechumenate, or the RCIA or OCIA as we call it, adapted to younger people. Where this is done, the young often outnumber the adults in being baptized and received into the church. With this in mind, I want to remind our questioner that the norm, if you will, is not infant baptism, but adult baptism. The adults must be fully aware of what they are undertaking and to make that commitment in all boldness. Having said this, I question what seems to be a growing practice among people not to baptize their children, saying that the children can grow outside the Catholic faith and make the decision to be baptized and become Catholic later in life if they so choose. From my experience and observation, all parents will necessarily raise their children to be like them. They cannot do otherwise. You can't raise your children to be other than just like you. From its earliest days, the infant will imitate his or her parents, will speak like them, walk like them, imitate their every move. This is very natural and to be expected. This is also true in terms of religion. If I, the parent, have faith and live out of that faith, my children's first impulse will be to do the same. If I am Catholic, I cannot raise my children to be Muslims or Jews or Protestants. By the same token, if I'm an English-speaking Canadian, I cannot raise my child to speak Japanese or Yiddish, or to be an Italian or Portuguese. So where does this mania come from 
to want to raise our children without faith and then expect them to choose a religion out of their lack of awareness. Parents can only do this if they have no faith themselves. This is not a Catholic practice. I hope I have properly understood this questioner's question. If that is not the case, please write back and correct me. I encourage the rest of you to send in your questions as well. Until next time.